Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to grab mouse coordinates because maybe we need it into some kind of bigger project to issue some virtual clicking, some automatization, testing, something like that. So first thing first, we need to make sure that we have Pineput module. Uh, I'm gonna open my DOS, terminal, whatever, pip install pineput. So it is not pi input, it is put, it is this, pineput. Enter, I already have it, so it will be done in a split of a second, check, and in your case probably it will took a couple of seconds more. Not important that much, just make sure that you have it on your system. Right, so let's grab everything from it, because our script is small, we will not run into some kind of problem with uh, grabbing everything from that module. From pi put, we are going to, well, grab everything. Now, this is not good practice to grab everything because we can run into some kind of clashes with names of methods and stuff like that, but it is simple stuff, so who cares. Anyway, now we need to make a function that will grab and do something with our coordinates, with coordinates of mouse. So you can call it whatever you like. I'm gonna just say uh, like a get chords or something like that. Is it with two O or one O? I don't know, get chords. And we have x and y coordinates, so x and y, these are arguments, and now for simplicity reasons we are just going to print that stuff on a screen by saying now at, and then uh, this will be placeholder that will be dynamically populated by tuple in that moment. So we are using formatting here. So format pretty much, and in here as a tuple we are going to pass those x and y's x and y, I'm too lazy to type these days for some reason, and we do have our method. Now what? Well, context manager uh, to open like communication with a mouse, with a listener basically, with the hardware. How we are going to do that? Well, with and mouse.listener, and now we need to connect on move method, uh, actually, this is internal instruction, so now we need to connect it to get chords of our own. So on the left side there will be on move and on the right side there will be method that will do something. Get chords, I'm gonna copy paste right here. And I need a little bit of space because my font is huge. But I'd, uh, I was using that font because maybe some people uh, doesn't like smaller fonts especially when on Android tablets and mobile phones. Anyway, as and handle for this operation of opening, well, we're just going to call it listen or L, something like that. And now we can say something like listen.join. And guys, you know what? That's it. So now when we press F5, hopefully everything will be fine with detection of those coordinates. Uh, let's run it, run module, and there you go. So every time when I move, I do have coordinates on the screen. For example, uh, if I go to my, I have two monitors, and if I go into upper left corner of first primary monitor, I will be close to zero, zero coordinates. So let me test that, and you f can follow my mouse. So when I go up here, it will be around zero, zero. Oh, there, there you go, zero, zero. I'm so precise, man, and I have, like a 15 years old uh, mouse. It's not mechanical, it's optical, but it is it is old. Anyway, when I go into lower right corner, you probably can see my full resolution uh, by just uh, observing, uh, not observing, uh, by seeing these numbers on the screen. So yeah, that, that that's pretty much, that is my resolution. So that's my monitor, HP. And when I go to next monitor on the left side, I will go into negative coordinates. See? Well, unfortunately, I have just two monitors at the moment, so that's pretty much it when we talk about coordinates of my mouse. Anyway, let's go to primary one. You can roll on. Let me the cancel this script. Oops, I don't need to save it. Let's just get out from here. And let me run it again, F5, there you go, same stuff, it just works. 
And now you can use these coordinates into some kind of bigger application. It depends what you do. So most of the people just use it for some kind of detection and for automatic testing and clicking on uh, either graphical interfaces or websites or something like that. I remember that two years ago I was creating these kind of scripts, but honestly, I don't know where are they on my PC because I have like uh, thousands of uh, prototypes, uh, Python scripts and stuff like that. Okay, maybe if I find it, I will uh, publish it as a YouTube tutorial. So there you go. Wish me luck searching my own hard drives. Okay, thank for watching. There is a source code and see you next one. Ciao.